The Selfish Path to Romance. Download Chapter 1 for free at drkenner.com and at amazon.com. This is Meryl. No, that's unacceptable. Listen, tell Warren, if we don't ship by Tuesday, we won't be in the stores by Mother's Day, and that's unacceptable, so don't give me any excuses and do it. Do it, you shut up and get it done! Oh, honey, you broke your phone. It's okay. I carry extras. Be very purposeful as to how you set up your life, or you'll be eaten by the demands. This was said by Dr. Ed Locke, and it's my pleasure to welcome him to the show today. He's a Harvard alumnus with a PhD from Cornell. He's a senior writer with the Ayn Rand Institute and a fellow of the American Psychological Association. And he has so many wonderful tapes on self-esteem, stress and coping, uh, making the effective choices in the study process and setting goals to improve your life and happiness. And welcome to the show, Dr. Locke. Thank you for having me. I want to give you a situation that many moms and probably some dads can relate to. And tell me... How would life planning help reduce the stress? I'm at wit's end. My nerves are absolutely frayed, Dr. Locke. I'm working part-time as a paralegal, and I'm taking an evening course in law. And then I have to take the kids to soccer, to dance, to karate. And on top of that, Mom is always calling me to pick up something or other for her and to take her to her doctor's appointments. And then I've got this friend, Krista. Now, Krista's a good kid. I like her. We've been friends for a long time, but she's always complaining about her kids. And I just don't have the time to talk with her, but I can't tell her no. Then picture this. My husband comes home at night. He's relaxing with this newspaper. He's got a bear in his hand, and he wants sex. Yeah, right. He never helps out. He just thinks that bringing home a paycheck is all that's needed. I'm telling you, Dr. Locke, I am so stressed out that I'm afraid I'm going to go crazy. I'm afraid I'm going off the edge. Now, how could I use some life planning there to help me out? The first thing you need, you would need to, she would need to do is sit down with her husband and said, say to him, I can't live like this. And say, let me go over the things that are driving me slightly insane and let's together uh, work out a plan for uh, me to um, lessen the stress. For example, if the husband is such a great breadwinner, um, maybe the part-time job uh, is not necessary. Maybe the husband could do more around the house, more cooking. Maybe he could sometimes take the kids to activities. So I think that would be the number one thing to work out a plan uh, with your spouse to um, you know, divide up the labor so your stress is not... So that um, takes breaking a huge pattern because if my husband yeah. hasn't been talking, I mean, if yeah. this is the pattern that's set in and this is what he's come to expect, we right. probably need some counseling to be able to break it's, through it's this. It's possible if he's not sympathetic and, right. and tell him that, uh, uh, assuming that she loves him, tell him, you know, she really likes sex, but her life is so stressful that she can't... Uh, she, she's just too tense to get in the mood anymore, and that uh, that's uh, causing her additional stress. Uh, that might catch the husband's ear pretty fast. Um, <laughs> okay, that's a so, good, so that, good way to turn things around. So that uh, would be, so she's got to be, you know, assertive in a nice way and say, you know, I can't deal with this. Okay, so I and think... it's affecting everything, and, and it's affecting our relationship. In a, in a book I recently read, they talked about tipping over the first domino. If she if she invites him to have sex, then that might be a good means to um, catch his attention and mm-hmm. to engage his cooperation better. Mm-hmm. And then what about all the other things? I mean, the kids are just booked to the hilt, and mm-hmm. then she's got her mom and she's got her friend calling well, her all the time. what you can do with... Hey, I got to interrupt this because we've got to pay some bills. 30 seconds, that's it. A very quick ad, and then Alan will be back. Romance. Oh, I wish guys knew more about what we want from a relationship. (laughs) Boy, I wish I knew more about what I want. Where's that ad I saw? Ah, here it is. The Selfish Path to Romance. A serious romance guidebook. Download Chapter 1 for free at SelfishRomance.com and buy it at Amazon.com. Hmm, The Selfish Path to Romance. That 
is interesting. What about all the other things? I mean, the kids are just booked to the hilt, and mm-hmm. then she's got her mom, and she's got her friend calling well, her all the time. what you can do with sometimes with the kid thing is that you could you could share uh, responsibilities with another parent to uh, every other day. They would do it, and every other day you would do it. So parents the carpooling. Who, yeah, who have their kids in the same activity, so that can often be helpful. Um, now, with friends, it's it's a difficult thing because you don't want to hurt your friend, but your friend's not really being a good friend <clears throat> in this case up by using you as using you as a therapist. So, <clears throat> I, I think you you have to be proactive in choosing your friends as well as every other part of your life. And if your friends aren't making you happy, then <clears throat> they're not great people to have as friends. So. Uh, you could start by simply saying, I do value your friendship, but I just don't have the time to deal with this. Um, gonna have, I'm going to have to cut down the amount of hours we talk a week, and a friend will undoubtedly be hurt, but um, uh, that will be a starting point. And, and it, might be, it might end up breaking off the friendship, or it might not, <clears throat> depending on uh, uh, the situation, but it's, it looks to me like a one-way friendship, not like a two-way friendship. Right, and you, even the thought that you had about the friend really needs therapy, she could say, you know what, mm-hmm. this is something, I feel like I'm functioning your, as your therapist, yes. and I'm not educated enough to do that. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking if you have therapy, and then we could touch base, and you know, maybe mm-hmm. we can talk for five or ten minutes, and mm-hmm. you can catch me up on things, mm-hmm. but to put a time limit in it, too, then yeah. it, th- that may help retain the friendship. Yeah, that's another possibility, and, and it was mom um, again I don't we don't know the details of the mom's income or stuff but but I think something you could say is mom I'm just completely overloaded could you possibly take a taxi to the doctor or um, go with a friend if mom's yeah. got a network of friends or they now have vans I think many big yeah. cities just have vans you can call and they're they're decent they don't yeah. look like a taxi so so you have to really be uh, you can't be in a position of being the uh, exploitee uh, with your own consent here. You have to not sanction what's happening to you and take action to change things, and no one's going to do it for you. You have to do it yourself. Right. So she needs to stand back and look at her entire day or Mm -hmm. week and Mm -hmm. see how she's spending her time Mm -hmm. and start to prioritize what's of top value to her. If it's her evening costs in law, then Mm -hmm. that may come first. Yeah. If it's some time with her husband, then that may come first. If it's Mm -hmm. some time alone, many Mm -hmm. women or men in the same situation want some time alone. Mm -hmm. That may come at the top. And then you also so are breaking all of her problems into two individual bits rather than right. dealing with it all as one lump sum. Right. But uh, often you can combine the problems. Like a lot of the problems are things uh, concerning joint uh, responsibilities with her husband. A lot of the problems are of that nature. So even though that's one thing, that actually is five things. Right. You know, cooking and house and kids and uh, right. Maybe they can get a and, housekeeper. Maybe they job, can yeah. hire a kid after school to drive mm-hmm. the kids. Mm-hmm. So if she lets her husband know where she's at, many women don't speak up or, mm-hmm. or husbands in the same situation, and they need to speak up. If the communication breaks yeah. down, then you have a life full of stress. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Locke. Thank you for having me. And I want to spend a few minutes on, or a minute actually, on private time. How important it is for each of us to have some time that is our own as stress management. Some time where maybe you just take a break for an afternoon. Maybe it's just an hour. Maybe your partner goes away for a few days and you're able to live and make all the decisions on your own without having to constantly integrate a life. You can still have a wonderfully loving relationship and still enjoy having time away from your partner. It makes it more exciting to come back to your partner. It's like getting a babysitter for the kids in a way. You need the break away from your kids and then you can appreciate them even more. So be good to yourselves. See if you can work in some private time this week. For more Dr. Kenner podcast, go to drkenner.com and please listen to this ad. Here's an excerpt from The Selfish Path to Romance, the serious romance guidebook by clinical psychologist Dr. Ellen Kenner and co-author Dr. Edwin Locke. 
It's important to understand what and why something makes your partner angry, but not all anger is justified. A partner may characteristically blame others for everything that goes wrong. Never accept unearned guilt for someone else's unjustified anger. Suppose that your partner berates you, among other things, for bringing home the wrong groceries, even though your partner never made clear what was needed. The problem belongs to your partner, not to you. Be aware that major habit and personality changes in adults are rare, especially without dedicated effort. Nor should the intensity of anger be out of proportion to the current cause. Your partner should not go ballistic if you forget to bring home the milk. You can download Chapter 1 for free by going to drkenner.com and you can buy the book at amazon.com.